we challenge really for um, in terms of canvassing and reaching out to um, constituents is only really when there's a lockdown um, during the curfews and the stressed hours we pretty much what we do is we knock on doors and stay off social distance and stuff like that but we still try to engage as much as possible um, one of the big things for me I know I'm a sociable guy so all the social activity is pretty much erased um, so that limits my capacity to you know, interact with the younger people more, how we relate to. But in general, um, in the current situation, we continue to walk down the street, knock on, knock on doors and stuff like that as much as we can. But that's been working pretty good. Once we maintain our social distance, and persons are usually inside the house or behind the garden wall, or, so, or just look through the window to interact with us. Okay. Um, what are some of the major concerns and requests that you've been getting from residents? Um, well, you indicated it's not much of a challenge to meet them now, but given COVID too, what are some of the, the challenges that they have reported to you? The two main concerns that are always coming to the fore are employment and cost of living. Um, it's not to say that there are not um, other um, issues that they have, would like to see addressed. Like, I mean, where we are right now, Redmond's, Redmond's Road, um, you can score and so forth. These people would like to see some natural gas with their house, for example. It'd be something that they've been asking for for over 20 years. Um, speed humps to control the speed of traffic has come up. And lighting issues are very pop is a very popular one. Right? Uh, those are the, the issues. But needless to say, um, jobs are important and um, we're seeing the need that households are without employment and somewhere only one person is working but it's not enough to sustain the, sustain the household so from that perspective um, it has been challenging for many many families one of the biggest things also is that these communities have a lot of small businesses a lot of home-based businesses and right now the community is not able to sustain and keep these businesses afloat because they don't have the capacity to do so right and that is something that, as you know, as sports person or business, I've been calling for assistance from the government as much as they can. And um, I don't think that it is fair that the government can just give $250 or $500 six months ago. Conditions still remain the same and they turn their back on the people and these small businesses. I think it's, it is very imperative that the government actually comes out and reach these vulnerable people. We know all are not affected, but we, they need to come reach these vulnerable people and, and even those that have small home-based businesses do not just think that they are earning an income and they're comfortable because the reality is they are not.